Okay, what I'd like to now show you is some of the features of the Sonos system. So what I've done is I've now connected everything back up and what you can see here is a bedroom labelled unit, a dining room labelled unit, a kitchen labelled unit and a living room labelled unit. Each of these units uh, is a Sonos piece of equipment. So in the bedroom I've got a Play 3, in the dining room I've got a Play 5, in the kitchen I've got a ZP90 uh, which is connected to... Uh, sorry, the Connect, which is now connected to a kitchen hi-fi that I already have. And here I have the living room, which is connected to an audio-visual amp. Okay, I've also got plugged in a, a dock. And in the dock, I've got an iPod Touch. And if I just click on here, this is now another source of files and uh, information, etc., that I can actually go through, whether it be audiobooks, podcasts, etc., playlists. So I'm going to quickly go through the podcasts. Uh, I've got an awful lot of these. Scroll down here and let's get something like. Um, uh, it doesn't. I'm not actually going to play anything, but I'm just going to show you that I've got some folk music uh, podcasts here that I can then actually highlight and select and play. So I'm pull, I'd be pulling that music off onto the selector unit, which is currently the living room. Um, so it'd actually pull the information off there to play through without copying any files across the Sonos net to your living room. So that isn't what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave that there for a minute. I'm going to quickly go through and show you that each unit that in the in the ungrouped mode can have their own separate playlist they can all be playing their own thing you can have a dozen of these things all playing and streaming their own music so i've got a combination here of playlists that i've loaded up you can see the album art scrolling and loading as it goes this is all pulling data information off a home network i've got a nas upstairs none of this none of these files are local to this ipod uh sorry the, to my macbook air um the kitchen however i've got streaming information off the internet through the internet currently streaming from radio 2 my carding show do you spot the folk theme yet and the living room i've got playing yet another playlist and playing some other information and music uh, going through again off the network storage device now one nice feature you can group units together so i might want to group my bedroom with uh, another unit or I can also select this party mode. I'm not going to do that just yet So I'm going to show you grouping. Let's say I want to have a ground floor group So I'm going to group the downstairs Three which will be the dining room the kitchen the living room So that's created a group now So what you'll see is it highlights the three units together in a single group You can then have a playlist for of uh, the bedroom still got its own playlist and this group has its own playlist it's, it's selected, I think it's the top one it selects, but it's selected one of the three players going. Of course, I can clear this queue. Yes, I want to clear the queue. I can select something from um, the iPod, or I can select something from the internet radio services, or I can go to one of the uh, um, special, uh, what they call themselves, the uh, paid for services, the last in, the Spotify's, etc. Or I can again go to my own music library, search by artist, and I've got all kinds of things here. I've got many thousands of uh, CDs ripped all in FLAC, all lossless FLAC ripped, and I recommend FLAC. It's a very good system, uh, very high quality and uh, very robust, uh, good size and very robust and not uh, so many issues with uh, all this copy protection rules, etc. And it's, it's more platform independent. So I can create, um, I can play albums, I can I can play uh, tracks, I can search by artists, composers, genres, etc. I've got a 70s genre, etc. Anything that I've got that's classed as a 70s genre, and that's all to the uh, music metadata files, etc. Will allow it to highlight into the genres. I can create my own playlists. So I've got here a dozen or so playlists. I've got one here called In the Garden. I can then immediately say I would like to, yes, quick, quick view down. I can pull some tracks off there, or if I want to, I can just go back and say, yeah, I'd like uh, that whole list adding to the queue, please. So I'm going to uh, highlight in the garden. Oops, a daisy. Doing this on the side so I can add to queue. You'll see here, populate the queue. You can then decide whether you want to play it in a loop to play forever or not or whether you want to random shuffle through your tracks or not and um, it will then play to all these three devices simultaneously so here it would have a downstairs music playing uh, this would be uh, from the album Wicker Man you can see the album art there 
into the dining room, the kitchen and the living room. So anywhere I walked downstairs on the ground floor, I'd hear the same track, same song, uh, no, no delay at all, which is also very good. Whilst the bedroom was either playing nothing or in this case, some nice, quiet, ambient Brian Eno. Okay, so just one last thing I mentioned earlier, just want to quickly show it to you. There's a single button to press party mode. Party mode literally brings all units that you've got on your list. I've only got four here, but you could have more into a, a, a single mega group and then you've got the whole house uh, playing uh, whatever list, music, demo, etc. Or indeed, if somebody brings along um, an iPhone full of music, you can then again pull it off their docked iPhone, um, quick browse through uh, their playlist, etc. Or just play whatever it's playing now. So you can actually control the music coming from the iPhone uh, whilst it's in the dock and have that stream through to your whole whole network, all your devices, etc. in the house and then playing and uh, you'll listen to the same music throughout the whole house. Okay, that's it. Um, that's the Sonos uh, running, sorry, this is the Sonos app running April 2011. It's recently updated. It's got a, a blue icon currently. It used to have a brown icon, so this is uh, April 2012. Uh, Sonos keep themselves up to date. They've got some very good services. I just want to quickly show you, you've got some volume controls. Each unit has its own up and down volume control, but you also have a master volume control. So what I typically do is I set the volume how I like it for each room, and then I can control them all. If you watch the slider, they'll all go up and down with a similar spacing between them. So that's, that's a very good feature. You've of course got a mute, mute all when you've got them grouped all together. However, if you weren't in party mode, let me just ungroup them, even though the button's labeled group. I'm gonna just quickly unselect them all, break them all up. Yes, I want to stop the music playing in all the zones as well. And it quickly graphically unbreaks them all. The list's being cleared because it doesn't know which one that would have owned it. And each unit uh, has its own mute. Um, I don't have to mute, for example, what's going on in the dining room. As you can see, the icons are unmuted. Where the bedroom is muted, you can see by the line through there. Hopefully that's clear enough if you uh, full screen this video. And uh, you can have independent volumes for each area, and uh, as well as a, a master volume control that you can do on top of the unit. Each unit's got an up and a down, and, and quite a few of the items have got mute keys, etc. So all in all, um, very good uh, software control. All of this is also available on your iPhone, your Android phone, or your iPod Touch, or your iPad. It's all album art, swish swish, full features, same as I'm showing you here. And uh, Sonos have put a lot of effort into the software and uh, it makes uh, full use of their hardware. And uh, well done Sonos, and uh, more, more may it continue. They keep adding more features, they keep adding uh, better skins, personalization, etc. is coming. And, um, it's a, it's a re well recommended piece of software. I've had uh, five versions over the last three years and uh, if, about every six, six to nine months they release a new version and uh, it's getting better and better and they're getting access to more and more uh, music stations and web services as they come online. So it's a, it's a fantastic portal for all your music needs.